the next instant, do I make it or does it make itself? We make it together with our breath. And here we all are, breathing it together. Um, I want to talk today about Chloe's Lispector's uh, novella, uh, Agua Viva, which perhaps some of you may know. Hopefully, some of you don't. Um, Chloe's Lispector's novella, Agua Viva, was published in Brazil in August 1973. And it's supposedly narrated by a painter uh, who has turned to words as an alternate medium. Uh, it's a book with no narrative, no plot, no characters, and nothing happens. That's one of those books. Right? Um, <clears throat> instead, it tries to, to fix, to capture, to apprehend the present. Uh, to hold it, regard it, and retain it. Dreams, drinking coffee, flowers, birds, mirrors, perfume, jaguars, the sea, and places like this. Uh, it's an impossible novel, uh, a meditation, a confession, uh, an experiment, a digest of, of digressions uh, on the nature of freedom and escape, uh, the impossible and the unreachable, uh, obsession, and at the end, uh, states of grace, which is right. Uh, slightly crazy. Um, and all committed to paper under what I would call a, a sort of painstaking spontaneity. And I'll say it again it is a painstaking spontaneity. Uh, this is not, this is a stream of consciousness, but edited judiciously. Um, and one could create countless poems uh, by rearranging Clarice Lispector's line. So, the reason I've chosen this image. Um, Agua Vida means literally living water, uh, a spring or a fountain. But to a Brazilian, like Lispector, uh, it's a jellyfish, principally. So it's a free swimming marine mammal uh, consisting of bell and tentacles, uh, riding ocean currents with no uh, digestive, no central nervous no respiratory or circulatory systems. Uh, a bell that blooms and pulses, ingesting and voiding through the same hole uh, with a sting. Uh, interestingly, uh, if exposed to stress or assault, or if sick or old, uh, the jellyfish uh -huh. Turritopsis dornii <laughs> can revert from Medusa back to polyp. Uh, this ability to reverse the, uh, the biotic cycle, or the life cycle, um, allows the jellyfish to bypass death. <laughs> uh, it's able to rebirth itself. Um, it, is, uh, immor <clears throat> it is immortal. Uh, it is the present. Cold is the fresh instant. So Lispector's novella is uh, invertebrate. Her writing is a form of uh, meditation. Uh, it's empty and full, uh, free-floating, gliding. Um, but what does she say? Uh, first, she asks for assistance. You who are reading me, please help me to be born. <laughs> then cautions, this isn't a book because this isn't how anyone writes then declares, whoever isn't lost doesn't know freedom and love it. Uh, of her approach, she explains, I try to see strictly in the moment in which I see. Uh, I want to grab hold of the is of the thing, pure it. And as long as the improvisation lasts, I am born. Yet, what I say to you is never what I say to you but something else instead. Uh, what I tell you should be read quickly, like when you look. What I say is pure, present, and this book is a straight line in space. Of her art, she says, I surrender in words and surrender when I paint. I am obscure to myself. I trust in my own incomprehension. 
which I think is very important. Uh, I am making myself. I cannot be added up. I am piecemeal. I want to write to you like someone learning. But she worries. What am I doing in writing to you? Trying to photograph perfume? Lispector offers a, a philosophy of contradictions. Please tell me what time it is so I can know that I am living in that time. Measuring time is just a working hypothesis. Uh, also, the true thought seems to have no author. The most profound thought is a beating heart. Uh, she also jokes. I love objects to the degree that they do not love me. Then suddenly asks, is the word an object? Are objects halted time? As if the only questions worth bothering with are those whose answers lie unfixed. Then she says, it's so hard to speak and say things that can't be said. And there she is with Wittgenstein at the frontier of language, looking at things that are bigger than words. Uh, breaking syntax, grammar and logic in her efforts to speak beyond language. Occasionally, she resembles the self-resurrecting Agua Viva. Will I have to die again in order to be born once again? I accept. And quite frequently, she says things like, I surround myself with carnivorous plants and legendary animals, all bathed in the coarse and twisted oblique light of a mythical sex. Hmm. This is the Agua Viva. And in my work, my practice, I, I variously fracture or extend moments, uh, present things, appearing has disappeared, and I explore the performance of surface and the continuous page, and I work with scanners, uh, and I'm often found dragging the tangible into the digital and elsewhere. To, be, to talk about scanning very briefly, gliding across the glass, the object feels the warmth of the lit edge as both beam and subject pan together at their never quite matching speeds. The fixed run of the beam contrasting with the imperfect drag of the thing hand driven. Uh, the scanner glass top box with a running horizon uh, is a machine for the manufacture of moments, granting the object the chance to be reperformed. Uh, leaving behind an image that is the very residue of incomprehension. Uh, Lispector takes her incomprehension of the instant now and stretches it across 88 pages, uh, each of which could be an ending. In fact, the book frequently suspends itself, ends numerous times, only for Clarice to return from the shops and continue it. Uh, one question her book doesn't address uh, is why anyone would want to live utterly in the present except as a way of escaping their past. Uh, we might also ask a question of our own. What does an inspirational work do? Offer another air? Uh, renew wonder? Hint at enduring alternatives? Immortalities? Uh, a seizure? An explosion? Uh, a grasping? A tenacious overreaching for the is of the instant? At the apex of the forever and the for never? Agua Viva is important to me, uh, sitting as it does, between the going and the gone. Uh, the arriving and the leaving, the fleet and the fading, uh, the performance and the, the curtain. Uh, Lispector's question, are objects halted time, uh, has already taken up residence and feels like one, uh, one that will occupy me for some, some, uh, some while. Uh, so an inspiration in the now and for the future, which, uh, as Clarice Lispector sees it, is also uh, now, 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 now. Mm -hmm.